And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Todd Teaches DDO. We're in the middle of the Catacombs quest chain, level 3 uh, chain here. Uh, we're going to be working on the lower cathedral this time. So, normal start. Alright, let's go ahead and pull up our hireling. So in this one, we're going to purify the Altar of the Winged Serpent, Altar of the Avenging Maiden, and the Altar of Conflagration. The sacred aura surrounding this place puts you at ease. Okay. So, first things first, the lower um, there are the in the air. some skeletons that will pop up here. Now, um, there's traps on either side of this wall here so if you do not have evasion like me you probably don't want to run around the sides um, normal it probably won't kill you but still why take the chance instead don't break but jump on the vase here and well you can break two of them you only need one but jump on the vase or on this fountain and then jump up and grab hold and then jump over to the other side you well I got to avoid the trap my hireling was not so smart keep one of the vases on each side there in case we need to go back for whatever reason to the shrine the main altar lies ahead despoiled by evil the okay. stones themselves seem to sigh and moan in agony so this quest has three little wings off from the sides doesn't matter which one you start with you're gonna have to go to all of them so pick a direction and go I'll just go to the left here um, you're gonna go down they're gonna be pretty much the same you will have a couple things to break then you're gonna have um, to find some levers somewhere um, in these things so each side's going to be slightly different, but basically you'll have to find yeah, some levers Fort to open up the gate that leads down to the altar that you need to purify. Probably get a couple guys that will attack you while you're trying to do that. So on this side there's the hellhounds one on each side ring and groaning the bars of the winged serpent thane rise okay so once you get down here you're going to have some thane of the guys attack you stands before you in this case, some gas. You can now you gotta kill the armored white in each of these rooms to bring down the shield there. Once the shield goes down, you can purify the altar. You don't actually have to kill everyone. If you purify the altar before um, you kill them all, it will kill the remaining undead down here, but. Typically, you've already killed most the of them before it happens. The corruption cloaking the altar dissipate. A sound like a soft sigh fills the chamber. All right. So we got that one. Go back to the center altar and pick a different direction. So I'm just going to continue around getting all of these. Keep an eye out for breakables. Alright, so in this one there's some zombies here. Your levers, whoa, and apparently a hellhound that I missed. Your levers in this one are down here in the water. However, as soon as you get them, you're going to get a blade. Swing down at you. So be careful with it. With a rusty shriek, the bars of the okay. conflagration chapel rise. So this one only had two. So 
Same thing's gonna happen. We'll get some undead fighting ass. We gotta find the white. If you kill the white and then purify the altar here, backspace you. It will kill any remaining undead. So, like I said, if you want, you can do that. But it doesn't really matter if you want to kill them all. Go for it. Got a vandal bonus. That's good. Okay. So, we'll come back up, hit the last swing. The Avenging Maiden one, apparently. So this one's similar to the entrance area. Um, on either side here, you're going to have a trap. So if you want to avoid it, you can use this vase to jump over. You can hit these levers up top to actually disable it on either side in case for whatever reason you have party members that can't get around it um, that way you can come back and go around that way okay words are etched in the archway so this Shrine one doesn't have any other levers. You just gotta like old flip bones. this one. The altar of the avenging maiden stands before you. You will have to destroy the white guarding it before you can purify it. The white guardian. Oh, we got some As the white collapses, rats. The protective magic surrounding the altar vanishes. It can be purified now. As the darkness hanging over the altar dissolves, ah, you hear the also a chest. fury from the central vault. The main altar's Loot. guardians have awakened. This, this. Okay. So now that you've gotten all of those, slay the four guardians in the main altar has to happen now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that these guys up here are hellhounds. But I'll get my turn on dead ready just in case. Oh, there's there's one. Oh, I did not kill them, but I did stun them. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Can be purified now. So I'm gonna get the chest first, and we'll purify the main altar. As the shrieks of the vanquished undead fade, a small stone tablet appears atop the main altar. It beckons you. All right. So once you've done that, the next quest is directly linked. You click on this little stone tablet that appeared and go into the Patriarch's Crypt. So we're gonna go ahead and continue into the Patriarch's Crypt. Alright, so here we want to use the Cursed Sarcophagi to ward them against Marguerite. So similar to the last one, you're going to have three hallways at the end of each one. This time there's going to be a uh, sarcophagus that you got to touch that's going to kind of purify itself. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, just like the last ones. Um, what's gonna happen here is that once you have once you have gotten the you last sarcophagus, of Cardinal Yenna, sarcophagus Patriarch of Stormreach. Um, the floor would fall away so after we get the third one that floor falls away and we have to go down to a lower area so let's go ahead and get these three sarcophagi up here. Go ahead and use this again. I'm just gonna drag them all with me and... The dark. Come on guys, just follow me. Let's let's all go over here. Come on now. Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal Hengrit, third patriarch of Stormreach. 
Got most of them. That was good. Okay. There's another sarcophagus. Alright, to the third one now. So it's around here. Scratching sounds and creaking rise through the dust choked air. Kill the bats. The zombies will get up and chase after me. Not too concerned. Anything else in here? Okay, let's get everyone to round. And. All but that one. Why did that one not come down after me? Hey! Hey, you! Zombie! You had one job. Okay. So, like I said, after we get this sarcophagus, the sarcophagus of Cardinal Olad, second patriarch of Stormreach. it's gonna fall down here. So let's do that. As the third sarcophagus is warded, a roaring stone shakes the crypt. Now the you gotta jump down. Eventually, I mean, you can make your way around the sides. You're gonna want to jump down anyway, so I'm just gonna jump down. It doesn't look like you'll be able to get up to the. And then you get ambushed by hellhounds. So we get some bats, and when we try to leave here, I thought there was a hellhound ambush. Oh, there we go. There's a blade trap. So if you can jump here in the middle and go around it. Come on, hireling. Get out of there. Stay. I'm go back for the breakables. Okay. Hireling, heal me. They don't do a very good job of the one thing they're supposed to do. Okay, so we get here. Um, we gotta check these other two corridors. One of them has all the hellhounds. Grows colder as you round the something terrible stirs ahead near the sarcophagus of Cardinal Bravonis, first patriarch of Stormreach. There we go. Okay. At some point here, Marguerite's gonna appear and start chasing us. We're gonna have to run from her. As the white falls, the spell surrounding Bravonus's sarcophagus dissipates. It can now be warded. Okay. So as soon as we ward this one. Marguerite's gonna come after us, so we've gotta take off down this path. Um, I'm gonna break things as we're going. You're gonna have to get some levers. There are traps around these, so get them quickly. Just keep running. Hireling, keep moving. Don't sit there and fight her. You can't actually kill her, I don't believe. So there's no point in trying to attack her. Just have your party keep moving. Breaking things as you're moving upwards. Uh, basically, once you get back to here, you're going to be safe. So now that we're back to here, we can exit back to the catacombs. Almost 2,000 XP. Not bad. Alright. So as we check, 
once again we've got to run all the way up to Dryden's and then we'll come back down for the last piece of the puzzle so all the way back up da -da 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 Okay, let's see here. Out of my way. Okay, so back into Seek Dryden's Council. Archbishop Dryden waits to speak with you at the top Okay, of his you're alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So grab something here. Okay, Margaret is currently in Eastern Catacombs. Okay. So we warded everything and forced her into the eastern catacombs, apparently. So, again, at the very bottom of the tower are the eastern catacombs. So we get all the way back down here. And this will be the last one, I believe, or the last episode next time. We'll finish up the catacombs. So please join us for that next episode. Check out the rest of the videos on our channel. Like, subscribe, leave us some comments about what you think about what we're doing. Or if you'd like to see us do more of something or something new, let us know. And we'll do the best we can to do that. So until next time, play games, have fun, and we'll see ya.